baseball fans and who follow baseball because I'm a big baseball fan myself. I've been watching the playoffs uh, the last couple days throughout what team is going to win and what team is going to lose. Now, in my opinion, I'm predicting Washington Nationals will win the World Series this year. Um, they got a good team, um, but then that doesn't say much either because even, 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 even teams that have good players don't always win, but I'm predicting the Nationals actually will dominate this year and take it. Um, so now getting back to um, what I'm going to talk about, Justin Ram Verlander, who's one of the top pitchers in baseball right now, and the guy's 36 years old, and the guy has been dominating for 15 years, and he still is. But even with him being 36, he made a comment today that he wants to pitch another 10 years by then he'll be 46, and would he still be able to show the same dominance he's been showing as he has now? He was 20. He, um, this year he won 21 games and lost six, and he pitched 34 games. He had a 2.58 ERA and struck out exactly 300 batters. Um, he's got 3,006 career batters struck out in his career. He's been pitching for Houston for three years, and he and he was with the um, and he was with Detroit for like 13 before they traded him. Um, Justin Berlander is coming off another outstanding season and is showing no signs of slowing down anytime soon. But it would be unrealistic to think he could continue to put together 21 seasons well into his 40s, wouldn't it? He doesn't seem to think so. Berlander, who will pitch Game One of the ALDS tomorrow against Atlanta. I guess I'm not sorry, not Atlanta, Tampa Bay Rays. Um, and that the 36-year-old spoke on Thursday about how much longer he plans to play. He mentioned that he wants to still pit, still be pitching when he's 46, and he did not sound like he was kidding. Nine more years of Verlander, Verlander, I guess I kind of pegged this like 46 number, whether that's realistic or not, I don't know. I'm not going to sell myself short. Well, it's not to say much, um, Nolan Ryan, who was a pitcher back in the ni um, into the late ni into the mid, to like the early 90s, 1993, I think is when he retired. Nolan Ryan retired in 1993 when he was 46, so I'm not going to make it. Um, so I'm not going to basically sell myself short on that. AJ Hench mentioned something about Verlander pitching about another five years. The right-hander said he wants to do double that. Hench mentioned to Verlander about pitching the next five years. Verlander said, why not 10? Verlander is one of the most dur dominant, durable pitchers in MLB. He has made 30 or more starts um, 13 times in his career. And he has been a full-time starter in the majors, including 34 this year and last year. Verlander has won, has been to the All-Star team, has been selected to an All-Star team eight times, and would be a lock to win his second Cy Young of his career if not to, if not for fellow Astro starter Garrett Cole, who finished the season at 25, also with the 2.50 ERA. Verlander this year was 21 and six with the 2.50 ERA, and both of them are deserving of the of the Cy Young honor. Verlander joined yet another exclusive club this year with his best outing of the season a month ago, and there's absolutely no reason for him to think about calling it a career. Whether or not he'll be able to pitch until he's 46 remains to be seen, but he clearly has, any, he, he, but he clearly has plenty of baseball left in him to go.